Hello viewers, how are you all doing today? I am Mahdi Hassan. In this video, we're going to find out how we can make Bill say hi with the help of this dot matrix. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello guys and welcome to another video of Adama Robotics. In this lesson, we're going to learn about dot matrix. How we can make Bill say hi to you. This is another interesting project. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we'll have to open our Adama script IDE. Here, we'll have to go to the Arduino mode. And then let's go to the robots category and get the Adama script program block. This should be the first block. Without this block, we will not be able to program our bell. Then we'll have to connect our bell, choose the serial port COM3. Here we will see the green light turns up and then this time we'll go to the show face settings section. Here, as you can see here, we have a couple of blocks, show face position zero number, show face x0, y0, characters high, show time hour, and then show drawing x0, y0, draw. So we will start with the characters block. That is how we'll be able to make our bell say hi to us. And we want this to stay on the screen. So, bell is connected and let's upload it to the Arduino. Just give it a couple of seconds. And then the program is uploaded. Let us unplug bell. And then we will be able to see high on the screen. Interesting. Now, let us try to do some more with the other blocks. Let's get rid of the high. We can show the time here. And we want it 12, 0. That should be all right. Let's connect bell and upload to Arduino. So these dot matrices, they're nothing but LED lights put in columns and rows. By turning them in different sequence, we can make them show us some kind of writings by arranging them or moving lights, a screen perhaps, Let's turn it on and now we can see the time. Interesting, right? What happens if we use the other two blocks like in the show face category, we have a character block. We've already used it. We have a drawing block and we have a numbers block. So. Let us try the other two blocks and delete this one by dropping it on the block window. And let's duplicate this and put it down. Let us delete this one. So this time we want to draw this love sign. Okay. If you don't have it in your screen, you just can press clear all and then you can drag and then this light will light up okay you can make the heart sign you can do it like this so you see there's a line in the in the middle so this divides both of the screens because we have two dot matrices connected so let's first put all of them and then we can choose which to not show up. 
Yeah, does it seem like a heart? Let's get rid of these two. Yeah, it seems like a heart. Right? You can press complete. And then in the number, we can choose, let's say, 10. And we can choose position 0. So, let's connect the serial port of Bell and upload to Arduino inside our Bell. So, let us see what we get on the screen. The upload is finished. We will now unplug Bell and turn it on. So, what happens is, let us um, reset Bell. This is the reset button. As you can see, the hard sign and then this, we can turn off and turn on bell, hard sign and the number 10, as we have in the program. Interesting, right? What happens now if we want to write our own name, so we can take this character block and take the control block okay maybe let us write my own name Mahadi but just imagine there's gonna be a small limit here right because the dot matrix it finishes so we have connected the bell. Let's upload it and see what happens with this code. You see, coding and technology is all about finding out. So the program has been uploaded. And let's see what happens. So let me turn the bell on. You see, it says mah, and the other part is gone outside. Okay, so this is why we have to make it move. All right, we have to make it move so that you'll be able to see the whole name. So you can see that top matrix is in a limited place, right? So in the upcoming lessons, we'll see how we can make the letters move by changing the positions in the x and y coordinates. Interesting, right? Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're gonna have a great day.